Big changes in Montreal. This instant analysis brought to you by Tylenol Rapid Release Gel Caps. Rapid Release for Rapid Relief. For all things Canadians, we always bring in our expert, Eric Engels. Eric, we just listened to Jeff Molson speak about the changes. Mark Bergevin, of course, out. Jeff Gordon in. Another member will be coming in to serve as general manager. We'll talk about that in a second, though. One of the things off the top that Jeff Molson said was, it's time for a fresh start. And he acknowledged and used the word rebuild at some point during his press conference as well. Is this a formal acknowledgement that things need to kind of start again? Well, yeah, he obviously used those words specifically. So it's fair to say it's a new start. It certainly is in the direction he's taking the team, both in firing Mark Bergman, Paul Wilson, and Trevor Timmons, and in hiring Jeff Gordon and creating this kind of structure that the Canadians are going to move forward with, with two people on top of hockey odds. Um, rebuild, interesting word, brought up to Jeff Molson on a couple of occasions, a word he said he's not afraid of. I don't necessarily know if he should be afraid of it because I don't think the Canadians are in a position from where they are cap-wise. If you go on cap-friendly and look at all the contracts that are signed over the next number of years, I don't really think they're in a position where they can tear everything down. That said, they have to take advantage of the position they're in right now, which is very low in the standings. And should things remain that way from here to the end of the season, I would suggest that Jeff Gordon and whoever takes over as GM continue in that vein, not necessarily to chuck games, but to, you know, make the Canadians competitive, but a little less competitive than they need to be. So they secure a top draft because that's going to be their best way moving forward to surround already what like some of the talent that they, they have here to promote young players and bring in a top pick here. So to say rebuild and he's willing to accept it, I don't know if the Canadians can even go down the road with, with the way they're structured, but they have to take advantage of the position they're currently in. Well, Eric, they're rebuilding uh, the front office. It's a very unique structure here. Jeff Gordon at the top, but there will be another general manager and, and Jeff Molson acknowledging that it'll be a two-tier approach or two-headed approach, two -headed approach to, to hockey decisions there. Talk about the unique structure of this Canadians organization moving forward. Well, it's uh, it's almost a necessary one in this market. And it's an interesting way of approaching it because in this market, which is unique, and a lot of people on, outside of this market don't understand it. I thought Jeff Wilson explained well. The majority of the population speaks French, and the majority of population does deserve to have whoever is the public-facing element of this duo be able to speak to them in their own language. That's an important criteria that Jeff Wilson set a while ago and is not moving away from it. I think, you know, when you look at the list of candidates that are available to potentially fill that criteria, none of them really have experience as a general manager in this league. So to hire someone of Jeff Gordon's experience and have those responsibilities share when it comes to talent evaluation, uh, building the, the management team, uh, and then communication with the fans and communication with the players and the daily operations of just being a manager splitting that into a kind of a two-headed monster is not the worst idea. The real question is, is how the balance of power works out, which I don't think we got a very clear answer to Jeff Molson. Uh, Jeff Molson acknowledging that when he hired Mark Bergevin to be the GM, he also had no experience at the time. It lasted a very, very long time. Any idea as to what names are out there to be GM of the Montreal Canadiens? Well, I have a pretty good idea of the names that are out there, and you're going to hear a lot of about Patrick Waugh. You're going to hear about Roberto Luongo. You're going to hear about Martin Madden Jr. as an elite talent evaluator in Anaheim. Uh, you're going to hear about Matthew Darsh, who just helped Julian Brisebois and the Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup. The name that I put at the top of the list, based on what I'm hearing right now, is Daniel Briere, who once played for the Montreal Canadiens and obviously built his career in Philadelphia and uh, Buffalo. And I, I think, you know, this is a guy from a communication standpoint and from a front-facing position that he'd be in as GM and sharing the responsibilities with a guy of Jeff Gordon's experience um, that is going to be very capable of doing that job. Uh, and also... I, I think his own experience in working his way up the ranks in hockey and being a GM, ECHL, uh, and wanting to start from the bottom and work his way up uh, lends well to potentially him filling a role like this and benefiting from the experience of a guy like Jeff Gordon in conjunction and I guess on top of him in, 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 a, certain, in a certain way. So I, I just, based on what I'm hearing, I think Daniel Breer is – a leading candidate here. I expect that there are some more that will emerge. And as Jeff Wilson said, he's willing to do an exhaustive search, but perhaps one that bleeds into the offseason if that's what's necessary. But he wants to fill that position as soon as possible. And 
I think the Briere is one person who could leave his functions as soon as possible and take that position. Eric, appreciate your insights. Thanks, man. My pleasure.